hip hop is a worldwide thing. You know, rap is for everybody, and not only rap, music's for everybody. Newcastle got into this hip hop thing. Do you know what I mean? It's, oh, I'm just amazed by it, really, and I would like to hear more of that story. That, that scene started from one person, uh, and it's unusual. I think Newcastle was, or well, the North East is, obviously the size compared to London, makes it easier for one scene to exist by itself. Hip hop gave us an outlet in, in the art side, in, in, in breakdance. Um, once you saw the struggles that New York were going through, it, it didn't, there was no difference in, in, in color, in race. It was, I can see kids doing the same thing that I want to do, having the same struggles that, that we're going through. And that was why we went into it. It spoke to us on, on, a, on a social political level, as well as, you know, it was a brand new scene. It was something new and kids were driving it. And essentially you felt part of a, a, a movement and a group that no one else knew about. We ad adopted, we felt the lyrics, the message of early hip hop, the words, and no matter where you came from, there were deprived areas in London, as there were in Newcastle or Manchester, Birmingham, and there was a message in the music, an early rap. It wasn't important if they were Latino, if they were black, if they were white, if they were, it didn't matter. It was, it was the music, it was the movement behind the music, the break, the clothes, how you, you felt connected. You suddenly felt you were part of society. You weren't ostracized. You weren't, you weren't something that was to be stepped on. You could be a kid with pride. You could be a kid with someone who had a team, a group, call it a gang, whatever you want to call it, but you were part of something. Yeah, I would definitely say visibility is the main thing. Like, I think if, if you're a female in hip hop, it's just, it's, a, it's kind of a challenge, like people want to see what you can do. I think the more women we have in the limelight doing hip hop or, or, or music in any sense, the more young girls are gonna be inspired to get up and do the same. So it's just really important that if you do have a passion or a talent to get out there and, and connect with other females in the scene and, and do that. When we look beyond a rap perspective, like I know they're looking at the, the, the music from another angle. Um, there are people who are up on hip hop culture on the wider sense because they're engaging in other elements. And I think when it is present, you can find it in corners all around the globe. Like there's something beauty about finding the, beautiful about finding the poetry in your own dialect and, and, and connecting with that and then feeling comfortable with that. Just like, I remember it breathing new life into me as an MC. Um, representing where you're from. That's what it's about, it's the core. So for me, it's really not about these, these boundaries. It's about hip hop. And I'm sure everybody here knows what I'm talking about. When I go out and I travel, and I go to places like Germany, and Poland, and Austria, I see hip hop there. And that for me, coming back to the point, it's not about the color. It's about the elevation and the energy that hip hop brings to different people. 